So the scene for the next project is to build a fire pit. So uh, basically I've got a washing machine drum, we've got the old chimney cap from uh, the kitchen which is going to be used as a cover for the fire pit and to put it out if need be. Got a load of blocks, gravel, sand, cement, uh, some pipes and the idea is to have it vented underneath which um, should make it burn hotter, cleaner, less smoke. So that's the little project, start that off, hope to have it ready in a few days. Cheltenham Festival's coming up, so watching the horses, a beer, a round of fire afterwards, either celebrating or commiserating. <laughs> set up. All I've done so far is I've cemented this block that I had left over into the ground and the drum for the fire pit is going to sit in there so it's removable and then there'll be a case of burning in there. I'm going to build up a wall around it, another brick high with a, a small concrete base and what I'm going to start with is getting the concrete base in, uh, octagonal ring, and then um, put some those pipes in just to um, give an air vent through. The pipes are only in there to support the concrete while it's being built. Once it's set in, I'll remove the pipes. So there'll just be air holes. So I'm going to start off, mix up a batch of concrete. In total, it's going to cost less than 20 euros. I've got 20 brick, 24 bricks, they were 30 cents each, a couple of bags of gravel, some ready mix cement, um, and that was 15 euros for that. Everything else is just leftovers from the washing machine, from the that was the old um, chimney in the kitchen that we had removed. So, less than 20 euros, hopefully. It'll be a great success. Something to sit around and also something to burn rubbish in. So I've just scratched out the pattern. And now I remove these, I should have a clear... Yeah, I can clearly see where I need to do my um, concrete in. So what I'm going to do is make a rough concrete rit... Well octagon follow that scratchings and get it nice and level so as you can see it's very rough floor at the moment so if i put uh, concrete around there that will give me a nice flat surface to do the brickwork on so that's the concrete mix poured chunky mix of stone, cement really. So there's two bags of ready mix mortar, one bag of stones, 75 kilograms of concrete. There's a little bit left in there, I've washed it out a bit, but I'm gonna leave that wet at the bottom just in case I need some at the end, but I think this could be more than enough. And now I'm gonna start laying it out for the base. So a bit of a change of plan. I've lined the bricks up like that, so you've like the inner circle. I'm gonna use them to stack up the um, concrete alongside them with the tubes in. I'm going to build that up another layer, tidy it all up, let it set, and I'll see as it's set in, I'll pull all the bricks out and the pipes. So that happens to be the right size. I'm trying to level out as I go along as well. Okay, so that's the base laid. I'm just going to go over it with a trowel now, a wet trowel, and just tidy it up a little bit. So I've smoothed all that over. I'm now going to put the bricks on, not to set in place, just to um, get a good flat surface, surface and 
make the sides flat and also help with leaven it out. The stones are out, that went okay. I'm, I'm going to wait another hour or so before I try and take the tubes out. I might just try and move them slightly, try and loosen them up for later. They're all out now. Um, that was probably the thinnest one. But got the holes out. Just got to let it dry now. Hopefully that will cement over okay. But they all come out. That's good. Good news. So overnight, concrete set, rock hard. So uh, that should be a great base to start with. Just mixed up my cement, mortar mix, and I'm going to put around the first layer. I'm going to have two layers of these bricks, so I'm going to put the first layer all the way around. So that's all the bricks just roughly laid in. I'm going to go around with a trowel now and just smooth over and fill in the corners slightly. But looking great. What I think I'm going to do with the next level is go go that way around so they'll sort of support each other and make it a tighter gap at the top cement for the next layer and now I'm just going to stuck the bricks on all the way around um, and see what they look like so that's that second row laid out I think it looks really good just need to um, just level them out a little bit and um, in the cement again. So I've got it half filled in, let it dry and then fill in properly. Okay, so all cemented in all the way around. I've got my uh, bottle cap frame again for the top, but I have done them neatly in order and lined up this time. I think they look really good. So just got to let that all set and hopefully that'll be ready to fire up tomorrow and give it a test burn. Okay, so getting carried away, decided I can't wait for the cement to dry. Gonna try lighting the um, fire pit, stroke barbecue. Did a little bit more touching up. I'll just show you the, the uh, fire pit now. So I've gone over all the corners to make them flat with cement. Cemented all the inside joints. Added a few more bolt tops. There's the um, the drum ready. Got some old charcoal, a bag of firewood, and some fire lighters. So we're going to light it up. See what happens. Thinking now it'll help the cement dry. It'll cure it because we're not going to have a massive fire. So I threw a big fire lighter in. Get that going. Gonna load it up with a few twigs. Okay, so I've got carried away with the fire now. But there it is. We'll let that start. I've got some more wood to throw on once that starts burning. And then throw a bit of charcoal on it. We might even cook something up on it later on. So I've got these Sagres Bohemian original bottles, which are virtually a perfect fit. And what I've got, a fire. I've got all four holes sort of plugged with those bottles at the moment. Let the fire start burning. And once we've got it going well, I'm going to try pulling the bottles out and see if it changes the fire, if it turns it up, which we're hoping it will do, similar to a log burner. So let that get burning. So it's burning really well. It's been quite smokeless anyway, and I've still left the bottles in at the moment. Just throwing a load of new wood on there. 
bits of scrap wood, all sorts, which will smoke a lot. I'm going to try pulling out the bottles in a few minutes. Okay, so it's starting to smoke a lot. I'm going to pull the bottles out now. Which hopefully... Give it more airflow underneath the fire. So it should make it burn hotter and reduce the smoke. The flames are shooting up a lot more. I think you end up with sort of a double burn where the, where the, the fire starts to burn its own fumes above it. So we'll let that, it does sound like it's burning a lot hotter now a lot more fiercely. Give that a few minutes, see how that goes. Okay, the smoke's nearly disappeared. Definitely burning a lot fiercer with the bottles removed. I'm gonna let it get severely burning, then throw some charcoal in and try dampen it down the other way around. Okay, so the fire's really burning well. It's gone smokeless. Put the bottle sort of half in that way round, give it sort of half a dampening. Made it a bit smokier, but the heat is tremendous coming off of this. Okay, it's a hot day anyway, but having the uh, fire pit going with the sun on your back, fire pit on your front, it's boiling. It's like going back to July, August. Wow. Even Star agrees, he's been a bit near the fire. It's got too warm, gonna to cool down on. Burning a banana skin. Okay, we're carried away again, through the whole charcoal bag on there. But not a lot of smoke. I've opened the vents right up at the bottom. There is some smoke. A lot of the charcoal's falling through. You can see the heat glow. It's a roaring fire. I'm going to leave them fully open while well, that catches. Just loaded on a load of new wood. Just smoking a little bit. But I've opened all the vents. So it should go smokeless in a minute. Within a few seconds, gone to just flames, really hot, you can hear it sizzling, cooking our potatoes, and wow, smokeless. Red. Just trying out the lid, which would kind of turn it into an oven, but you'd never be able to pick it up afterwards, so I'm going to quickly take that off. Lovely potato from the barbecue fire pit. Yes, I do like potato with my butter. Throwing a bit more wood on there. Straight away caught fire, brilliant. <coughs> All the cement seems to be holding up and drying, not cracking too much. A little bit there maybe, but it looks pretty solid. Ah, let's start playing with the neighbor's dog. So yeah, keep this going. Feeling the heat off it is great. It really kicks out the heat. And we'll see how it burns later on. You can see how this burns um, from the side inwards because of these vents all around the uh, washing machine drum, which makes them such a good fire pit. So drawing the air in sideways making a brilliant burn. Stars enjoying the fire pit and so is Jackie. <laughs> it's lovely. It's making all strange effects on the camera, but it's working. 
keeping us warm at night around the fire pit. There's all the crickets and things. We have plugged up, we're trying to slow the flames down. It's a little bit smoky, but not where you, when you sit next to it. It's actually like a chimney, it's brilliant. Little look around at the view. So we'll put that down as a big success. Bricks are all holding together, nothing's cracked. We'll let this burn down a bit, put the lid on it, and then empty the ash in the morning onto the uh, compost heap. So it's all holding together, been a real success. And once again, thanks everybody for liking, watching and subscribing to our videos and leaving us comments, really appreciated. Not sure if the phone will pick it up, but you can hear the sound of summer in the background. All the little crickets and things are out already. So perfect night for sitting by the fire pit.